hearing loss started many years ago in the 1950s. It's a combination, I think, of guns when I was in my in the army on my national service and then in the colonial police force out in Kenya. My hearing loss has affected me in a very big way. It started, of course, that I eventually lost my job. It wasn't long after I'd lost my job that my wife decided she couldn't take it and she left. Of course, I became very, very, well, depressed is the right word. I saw my daughter and my son from time to time and the grandchildren when they came along. But it wasn't a close relationship because of me. I applied for a hearing dog and very fortunately was given the beautiful Callie. Callie and I moved to Lincolnshire. We were very happy in our little cottage. But then in the June, he was made hearing dog of the month and found to have advanced cancer of the spleen and liver. And the vet had to put him to sleep, which for me was a disaster. But at least I was able to go hold him, cuddle him and comfort him whilst the vet did that. That was probably the most soul-destroying experience of my life. Hearing dogs for deaf people came to my assistance. I got the most delightful black Labrador offered to me. Then Poppy came into my life, this miserable man, and she brought me out of my misery. I had trouble bonding with her. I could only go 80% of the way there. So the 80% became enough that she passed her finals without any trouble at all. But she worked on me. Oh boy, did she work on me. She was determined that we were going to have fun together. Now we're out and about. This year we've done over 100 talks or visits for hearing dogs. She's with me all the time. And she is the one who did the bonding. Now, I can assure you, absolute love between the pair of us. She proved to me, conclusively, I needed her. And I did. And I do. And we have a wonderful life together.